This is a crazy time, and there's not a lot of organization as we've seen. So I think anything goes on Thursday. But all we can tell you is we in the House and Senate Republicans have a no tax increase balanced budget that we are ready to call in both chambers on Thursday. We would call it today if we we're in session. So well, that's what we can tell you. If perchance there isn't a vote on Thursday, and the Speaker has said, if we don't run something on Thursday, the disastrous uh, orders by the Governor will take effect, then I believe they're morally obligated to run our budget on Thursday if they don't have a budget ready to go. Because according to the Speaker, we don't run it on the 14th, nothing's going to happen, and the orders are going to go in, and that, as he puts it, is disastrous. Then you're morally and ethically obligated in this building to run our budget and let the chips fall where they may. Because it is time to move the state forward, and if they do not have one, that's their prerogative, but we do. We see a lot of talk and hear a lot about education funding. We cannot allow the governor or anyone else in this building to punish cities and towns and our children the way they have. We reject the governor's devastating spending cuts. We have taken into account the court cases of C. Jeff and Meskel. And we believe that there's a better way to do this by looking at enrollment, at poverty, at wealth and, and English language issues. We have put more money into ECS than the governor and then the Democrats in the House and the Senate in this building because we believe it's that important. We believe this needs to be revamped. We believe that there should be a new formula. And we believe that the group of shareholders and stakeholders that are part of this great education that we have in this state need to be in that tape. This is not the education of 30 or 40 years ago. It is not just about ECS. It's about ECS, special ed, magnet schools, charter schools, alliance districts, priority district. There is not a one-size-fits-all answer to education in this state. We recognize that. All those people should be at the table moving forward to find the right answer. We show up at the meeting on Monday, and nobody's in there. And we walk outside, and we see the speaker out there. So we go out to try and find him. He comes in, and we have this conversation. But, you know, let's be honest, guys. The Senate and the House Democrats were waiting for the moment where they can say Republicans walked out of the room because they knew from day one, no matter how many torturous meetings we sat through in that room because we believe it's in the best interest of the state to negotiate until you can no longer negotiate. They knew they were never going to back down on tax increases. They were never going to agree to any structural changes that actually move the state forward. They knew that. So they're, the same old answer is the Republicans walked out of the room. That's like a 10-year-old going to his teacher and saying, the dog ate my homework. Right. All right, but the 10-year-old's 10 years old. These are leaders of a state, right, that are saying, as the Republicans, they walked out of the room. I mean, I can't even get upset about it anymore because I feel sorry for them. <laughs> Come up with a more creative answer now. We're together. Our caucuses are together. We're ready to lead, and we're ready to put our budget up there for a vote. And if you can't, and you won't, then we will. I think Wisconsin is voting Thursday. Does the race go in real time or adjusted? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. Thanks. <laughs>